I remember going to Guitar Center, I remember buying Ableton, I remember sitting on my couch and opening it up and installing it. I would say it took about two solid years of working really hard where I could really start to kind of get out the music that I wanted to um, and produce it the right way. I, I first learned how to DJ and then, you know, within a month of doing that I wanted to do something more and all of my friends that were really doing it on a higher level had all said, well, you know, you, if you really want to do this the right way, then you got to play your own music. Yeah, it's a little bit scary, it's a little bit daunting, but people should never be discouraged because if you want to learn something and you love music, you know, I grew up playing piano and guitar. I love to, you know, be alone and start ideas and, and get going and when I first started producing, I just did everything on my own. Once I started to collab with people a little bit more, I realized how much I enjoyed it, you know. There's just something really special about getting together with another artist and creating something awesome. I'm trying to think if there was like an aha moment. I mean, I don't know if there was one specific moment. Signing with William Morris was great because I went from really making no money for years to, um, you know, having an agent that could back me and, and get me on shows that I had never been able to do before. So that was like a big moment for me and then, you know, I don't know, I have moments all the time. Playing Lollapalooza this last summer in my hometown of Chicago was huge for me, you know? It's, my family was there, my friends were there, people I grew up with were there, and um, you know, just being on that stage, playing my music, it was pretty awesome. I think probably like the best advice that I can give any man or woman that wants to get into music is just not to be discouraged. You know, surround yourself with positive people that lift you up, that um, encourage you to keep going. Because it's definitely, you know, it's a hard road. It's not an easy industry to get into. So, you know, don't be discouraged. And then also I'd say the other piece of advice I give is just to always be yourself. Music trends are going to go this way and that way. But um, I think if you set out to make music that is cool, you know, you're just going to always kind of make something that sounds like something else. If you get in the studio and you sit down and you want to make music because you love music and because it sounds good to you, you know, the listeners are going to hear that. And if it feels really, really good to you and it really is a, you know, comes from a genuine place, you know, people can tell the difference. And I think that's where like the most unique stuff comes from.